Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. So what is the Schengen route? Um, I started another channel, you probably noticed. There's been a load of videos in there for a while, but it may not be relevant to some of you, which is why you probably got very little interest in it. But the Schengen route itself is basically the Schengen zone countries, which is basically you can have a non-EU spouse that can travel with you on holiday as long as it's not your home country. The United Kingdom is signed up to the EU, but it hasn't signed up to the Schengen zone. But it doesn't stop me traveling with my wife and kids in Europe, but it also doesn't stop um, anyone else from within the EU within Europe to do the same. And it also means it, they don't have to be your spouse, they just have to be related. Um, now, how far that relation go, relationship goes, I don't know, because it could be that I could bring my brother-in-law, um, my mother-in-law, my uh, extended relatives. But I don't know, I haven't, I haven't got that far, and I refuse to help some of the people that are trying to do that um, purely because they're doing it for the wrong reasons. The reason I'll help some people is basically, I understand, right? For the UK, you have to reach the 18,000 pounds, 600 threshold, plus I think it's an extra 2,000 per child. So for a lot of people, they can't reach that. Now, these people would not be a burden of state if they come to the country. Um, and the reason I say that is even the guy that cleans the floor in the toilets and whatever their minimum wage but it's a job that still needs to be completed if the floors don't get cleaned then the building deteriorates the building deteriorates it has a knock-on effect for everybody so it, where that actually fits into the whole system is the fact that these people may not earn a big income but at the same time they have a function they're working, they're doing what they need to do. They're not sitting at home, smoking fags, drinking beer, and sitting on Facebook all day. Um, like many of the, uh, what do we call them these days? Benefit class, uh, the scumbags as I call them. Um, they're actually trying to have a normal life. Now, I will not help people that won't help themselves, simple as that, but I won't let people abuse the system either. The Schengen route also has the benefits for retirees. Um, I know several people that have partners that are, I don't know, 30s, 40s, and their 60s. Problem they have is they're coming to Europe, they can't come to UK because their pension doesn't reach the 18,600 threshold. Um, so how do they do it? Well, you take a Schengen visa and you go on holiday. You take your partner to Netherlands, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, whichever country in the Schengen zone you want to go to. You then go there and you've got a 90 day visa. It doesn't matter what they stamp. The Schengen visa itself is a 90 day one. You then sit there and process for family permit. Um, you show that you have a regular income, you can support yourself, and within three months, you normally get processed as a family permit. Once you have this family permit, um, it, it's uh, basically a family visa, they can travel with you to the UK. Once in the UK, they can apply for all the other stuff and become 100% legal in the UK um, with every government department putting a stumbling block in your way as they go, but they can't legally stop you. Um, the point here is it's a way into the UK for people that don't have the funds um, and are already pensioned. Now, the reason I help those that are pensioned already is for them to have already retired in the Philippines, they've already paid their way in life. They're carrying the can um, for the next generations or they paid off the last generations. So why shouldn't they? They've already paid their way. They wouldn't be in the Philippines if they had no money. So that's basically what the Schengen Moon does. It's originally just designed to allow people to travel with their 
uh, European spouse or European non-EU family member. Um, the family member being quite a broad term because um, it could be an adopted child, for example. Um, so that is the Schengen route. Myself, I don't need the Schengen route, but I begrudge giving the UK money. I hate the UK. Um, not in a terrorist way, but the way it's become such a parasite on those that work for a living. I already pay 40% tax. I then pay tax on my fuel for my car. I pay tax on everything I eat, everything I wear. Everything is taxed and at a stupid rate. Um, a bottle of wine, for example, in Spain only cost me 50 cents to one euro for the cheap stuff. Uh, good stuff, maximum of two euros. UK, similar wine, has a tax duty of over two pounds uh, before it even enters the UK. So you're looking at two pounds for nothing, for the tax man to rob you blind, and then you're paying on top of that. So that, say the bottle of wine was one pound, you'd be paying about three pounds fifty minimum just to get through the ports and into the shop. Daylight robbery. Um, but that's the UK. As such, I think I have a, a right to complain because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people sitting there saying they've got a right to a life in the UK um, where we're on fourth generation layabouts. We have a benefit class. Uh, the ones that sit at home smoking, drinking their old tinnies and whining about how hard life is on benefits. Get a job. Um, I know it's a bit more severe than that. A lot of them are unskilled. A lot of them are stupid. A lot of them are drug addicts, alcoholics, whatever you want to. But at the same time, why is it my problem? Why am I paying for it? Anyway, enough of that. But that's what the Schengen route is. And that's what the other channel is. Um, thanks for watching.